Welcome to Wednesday's live Q&A. One of my favorite shows. One of my favorite things that we do, buddy, is get here, answer questions, get live questions every Wednesday at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time with Cody and Duke. Dude, you ready, bro? About to ready to have some fun? Yep, we got a lot of He promised me this would be the best Q&A we've ever done. <laughs> Just like every other Q&A that we've ever sat here, right? That's, that may be the second time you've said that. That may be. And, There's a good chance. And it's still the second time I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. Well, dude, hey, we, we love you guys. We appreciate you being a part of this. We appreciate you watching. Appreciate the questions. We get between, put them on the spot, between YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, emails, all of social media, whatever, uh, how many show comments just in general, like messages, how many questions do we get a week? Oh, a just week? like a big guess. A big guess. It, it's well over a hundred for the whole week. I love it, man. Maybe a couple hundred, right? I want to bury him in questions. I want it to be a thousand. So we appreciate you interacting. He loves answering them. He's great. He always comes and picks my brain. Hey, how should we answer this? Right. Uh, something we do together. Something that we are that we actually like doing. You know, there's a lot of companies that don't like answering your questions. They get annoyed when you email them. But we don't. We love it. It's fuel. It's excitement. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To know that there's a lot of people out there that look to us, that, that's just, that's a good feeling. Dude, you ain't lying, man. You ain't lying, man. Maybe they'll come hang out with us at this thing, man. Yeah, maybe. It would be nice maybe if somebody hung out with us. Dude, we're going to have some good stuff here. You may, if, if you're just now joining us, you've never heard of 8% Nation. I promise you, you want to be there's an insurance wealth conference focused on the mindset, the mission, and the moves to help insurance agents create long-term wealth for themselves. So, and their families and their clients and all of it. So it'll be a fun event in Dallas at the Statler. Let's get some questions jumping in, man. What's up? What's up? What Andrews and, and Liz Mila Sanchez. Hope you guys are awesome. Enjoyed getting to see you guys the other night, man. Enjoying it to talk to y'all just a few days ago. You're a good, good couple, man. I forgot to, uh, actually, Andrew, I got an idea for you. Uh, shoot me a message on Facebook Messenger or text or whatever. Um, I've got an idea for you. Uh, I really, really do. You, you'll appreciate this. So. so our first question for today is, how can I best manage my time as an agent? Ooh, and Andrew doesn't know I was thinking about him before the show started, like something specific, like no, no lie. So how can they best manage their time? Mm -hmm. This come this come up earlier in a, a conference call. Um, I did two conference calls earlier for a couple agencies, and this this came up: time management, self discipline, execution. I mentioned on a video, may or may not have. If I didn't, I should have, Dylan. Um, a video recently about. I feel like the the number one reason agents struggle is they don't know what to do and when to do it. They don't know how to get in front of people, right? Which right. is why we're doing six figure success on April 11th for only forty seven dollars. You can go to CodyAskins.com to sign up. So we've had signups like crazy. Duker may have to add more virtual seats to that. And when, when I did that video recently, I talked about not only do agents struggle to get in front of people, but agents struggle like successful people execute. And what I mean by that is they, everybody has ideas, right? Everybody has the same amount of time. Everybody has, wants to be uh, wealthy, right? They, I mean, I, I don't know who doesn't, right? Everybody wants to be, you know, the best looking dude in the world, all this stuff, right? Fit, fiddle. But very few actually execute on those ideas and dreams. Those that do are successful. So when I think about how do I best manage my time, I used to manage it by not managing it. And what I mean by that is going drinking water, going to the bathroom all the time, talking to other agents, like doing play on Facebook, doing non income producing activities. Mm -hmm. I believe in income producing activities, Reve activities that produce revenue. The difference between successful people in this industry and non-successful people, it's what they do with their time from an execution standpoint. We execute here. Like if we don't, you know, what else will we do, right? So that's a big thing is execution. Most people don't execute like they should. So what's up, Pete? What's up, Sin? What's up, Andrew? Appreciate you guys joining, man. This one comes from a younger agent. How can I get older prospects to trust me despite my young age? What's funny is I thought this question a decade ago. Uh, I was 19, 
getting started in the insurance business in college, playing basketball, um, made 117k in eight months, right? Something I, that's something I struggle with a little bit. If I didn't get the sale, I used to think maybe it was my fault, right? Maybe it's because they don't trust me. In reality, people buy not based on age. They buy based on their trust and relationship with you. They buy based on your knowledge of the product and your ability to freaking shut down the deal, right? Mm -hmm. So... When something like this comes up, I do not believe. Now, yeah, if you were a financial advisor and you were trying to, you know, manage six million dollars for them, that may be another situation. But when you're selling them life insurance, age doesn't matter, and it's easy for an agent to blame their age. But I promise you, it's your ability that's actually the real problem. I listen to Brian Tracy's "The Art of Closing the Sale" every single day as an early agent. And that got me, my, got my skill level sped up to where it, my skill was growing, right? And when your skill starts growing, you start to get confident. By asking that question, that agent isn't overly confident in their ability to produce and, and to close, right? So they need to know more. They need some more sales training, some more product training. They need some more confidence. And with confidence... Dude, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. Like, I don't care if I'm selling a $100 million annuity. Like, I have a ton of confidence. Yeah, it's too much. I'd say probably what's coming across instead of them thinking you're too young, you're probably not as knowledgeable as you should be in your product. Exactly. And it's making you think that the person doesn't trust you because of your age, when in reality, they may not trust you because of your knowledge, or you may not trust your, you know what I mean? You may not have a lot of confidence in yourself either. So, right. really good point. Awesome, awesome, awesome question, seriously. What are some common pitfalls I need to avoid in order to be successful? Common pitfalls I need to avoid in order to be successful. Um, <clears throat> there's a big pitfall I feel like is floating through life. Like floating through, like as an agent in your first 90 days, this should be a goal to submit 30 grand in commissions. It just should. Like as a new agent, first 90 days, 30K in commissions. But most agents, they're like, well, oh, I, I sat with my aunt and, and Uncle Daryl and you know whatever, and now I've, I've, I've submitted um, seven apps, four on my own family. Uh, we're, nine, we're six, seven weeks in, and I've written three other pieces of business that weren't on myself. And it's like, there's no execution. They struggle to get in front of people, which is exactly why. We're going to address that question really, really well on Six Figure Success. It's a virtual live training again. We did call to close for three hours. This one will be a couple hours. Mm -hmm. You can go to CodyAskins.com to sign up. It's only 47 bucks, And I'm going to show new and struggling agents the formula, the system to make six figures. I know how to do it. I did it. And I can do it again really, really easy. So, and, and I want to help agents. Like that six figure success is a great, great thing for new and struggling agents. It really is. Like it's, it's, it's perfect. I mean, for 47 bucks, like it's a less than it costs to fill up my BMW with premium gas. <laughs> my agency doesn't help me much in terms of training. What can I do to train every day? IWU. Two things. No, no, no. Three things, three things. You've gotta have a product, you gotta have something to learn from. Insurance Wealth University, fantastic. Like, I've gotten two positive testimonials this week on our Insurance Wealth University over at CodyAskins.com. Insurance Wealth University, 142 or three training videos now inside of it. I've gotten two, one guy said he watched it for 45 minutes last night and he was so jacked up and excited after watching this that he wanted to run through a freaking brick wall, right? So. Have a product to learn from. Our Insurance Wealth University, our call to close, Mastering Insurance Telesales, like all our, our six-figure success, like all the things that we put out to help agents. Our content in general is free, most a lot of it, yeah. right? It's just focused on helping people. The I listened to Brian Tracy's The Art of Closing the Sale. Most people don't know that I went to a sales conference my, my, my first year up to St. Louis. 
paid like $300 and went up there for sales training because I knew I needed to know. So learn and know, then role play. Then you got to practice. Like practice makes permanent, as they say. I like that better than perfect. Practice, the role play, and then repetition. And then do it every day. So that's the best way I know how to answer that. Learn, practice it, and do those things every single day. A day that I go through the day where I'm not listening to something, reading something, or watching something to help me as self-development is the day that I will let myself down and everybody else down. Mm -hmm. And something else that we said, if you make sales calls, record it, listen to it oh, again, you'll, you'll figure out what you're doing. Fire! <laughs> dude, drop the bomb, uh, Dylan. I like that. Dude, that's good, man. It's kind of fun. How it's yeah. kind of fun with a co-host too. Like I'm always just sitting back here in front of a whiteboard, you know, dancing, singing, whatever. This yeah. is, you know, a little different dynamic. Maybe we don't dance and sing, but this is, a, you know, when Duker may dance. And, yeah, when the cameras are off, he may <laughs> dance and sing next week. So if we, you I, know I what, might. if we get, if we get, what, what, what do we oh need to happen? If we get, uh, if we get a hundred questions on this video. The boys, the guys may help with this too. <laughs> oh no. Duker's going to have to salsa at the start of next week's uh, show. You like that? Dude, I, salsa, I don't like bro. that. I'll salsa. do it. Come on, you can salsa. You, can... <laughs> you oh, got to no, show me right. that. That's, that's, not that very that's pretty good. That's not very good, but, that but he'll good. salsa that better than that best. next week. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to have somebody train me. I'll do it right. All right. All right. How can I tell if a customer is going to waste my time? Uh. Mm. Okay, the best way I know, because a lot of people would say, well, those that like say they're going to shop or not buy today, you know, uh, that's not true because I, use, I, I view those as a challenge. But how I can tell that someone is not taking me seriously, and there's a delay from our live feed, so I'm just now watching me, <laughs> I'm watching me dance in the camera now, is uh, I look ridiculous. The other thing, one thing I can tell, if they are not, if they are not, engaged. I know it because I don't have their full attention. Mm -hmm. For instance, the TV's on, they're not listening, they're not at engaged, they're not asking questions, they're not listening, they're not responding, they're saying I don't know a lot, they're not engaged, right? The best way to get someone engaged is, John, do I have your full attention? Like, I need it because I promise you the next 30 minutes, it's going to be worth it, but I have to have your full and undivided attention. Do I have it? Or, or, if I, or, or, if, or if the TV's on. Like, my philosophy is lose the cell on my own terms. If the TV's on, John, hey, can, can we go ahead and mute, mute the TV or turn it off for a little while? You know, is that, is that cool, buddy? Right? That's a, that's a nice way to ask, right? Mm -hmm. or, or, hey, I'm, I'm having trouble here, and I, I, know I keep listening to, you know, uh, Jerry Springer over there. Can, can, we, can we mute that and turn that off for me? That'd be great. Really appreciate that, right? Lose the sell on your own terms. If the customer's not engaged, it's a waste of time to move forward. Like, I don't care if you gotta smack them in the face. Like, get their attention now. It's a waste of time, man. I mean, that's a that's actually one of the better questions we've had because it's a little deeper dive. Most people have no clue of anything about. Like, that's good. Right. And they're not wasting your time by objecting. Usually, like, yeah. usually whenever they object, it means I want to know more or tell me why. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, please. Please object. Like, please give me an objection. Please tell me you're not going to buy today. Please give me some type of challenge. Like, if it's too easy, I'll make the sale and I'll leave and be like, ugh, that may not stay on the books long. Right, yeah. Or, oh, uh, that's not going to be, that's going to be actually one of my worst clients. Because my best clients were the ones that were the toughest to sell. True or false, guys that are watching. My best client, my best clients were the toughest to close. And the ones that were the, my worst clients were also, a lot of times, my smallest sales. Yeah. Like, they just don't think that way. But I'm, it's, it's true. It's because they bought without knowing what they really purchased. Yeah, they were just like, they just did it. Like, it, it, I'm like, I didn't even, like, get to spit any game yet, right? <laughs> like, the av next average, if, 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 if even an average agent could come close this person, that worries me. Because I'm like, there's some where I'm like, I should have never got that sale. I'm glad I've been sales training for a decade. Like, I freaking put in work on this one. And nobody else is closing that. And then I leave and I'm like, that client's there for life. Like, dude, no, one, no one's getting that house and closing that client 
after they told them, hey, we haven't let someone touch our bank account for 40 years and you're not going to touch it either. No one's ever drafting money out of our account in the last 40 years because we had an issue and no one's ever going to do it again, right? And then I close that client. I walk out of there with their bank account information. No one else is doing that. Like they just had an agent, they, even that appointment, they, they had an agent there at their house the week before. Guess, you think he got the bank account information? No. So I'm like, that's the kind of freaking, that's the kind of appointments I want. Like, yeah. I want to leave feeling like, yeah. <laughs> right? I don't know what I'm talking about, but. Whenever you have a, uh, a client where you feel like, they're, okay, they're wasting my time, they're, you know, they're not going to buy, how do you yeah. make one last ditch effort to make it like, okay, either you're going to yeah. go or we're, I'm going to leave? Yeah, I ask him a question. You know, hey, do, do you have any interest in what I'm saying? I'm here trying to help you. You know, I realize this isn't the funnest thing to talk about, but I'm here to help. And I'm going to help the best I can. Like, right? Like, you're going to, in, in, in an hour, we're going to be best friends. You're going to be happy I stayed. But, you know, you've got to want to hear this. Mm -hmm. Do you have interest in what I'm talking about? That's, that's direct, bro. Isn't yeah. it? It's cold, man. Most, that made most, me nervous. Most agents won't even do it. Like, oh if my. you can't do that without feeling nervous at all, then... You should be training a lot more. That's the thing. It wouldn't bother me to say that to freaking Donald Trump. Like, it doesn't, I don't care. Let's take a look, see if we got any live comments going. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, Matthew wants to know if I'm going to do a hot or mild salsa. Yeah, hot, baby. <laughs> hot. Fiery, fiery. Taco Bell style. And Derek says, when did you realize paying for training and conferences were going to make your business grow? Because the top agents back then when I first started in the business, I got two answers. When I first started in the business, the top agents were paying, they were paying, I love the salsa bowl too, <laughs> paying to improve, right? Hot baby, hot! They were paying to improve. The top agents were paying to improve. I wasn't at the time. Now, I've spent, most people don't know this. I'm in a coaching program for over 25 grand a year. I, was, I spent uh, 15 grand on tickets to be front row at 10X Growth Con 2. I went back to 10X3. Um, I went to a business weekend retreat to, to grow and learn for three grand. Um, I went to a mastermind and, 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 had, and, and, and did the whole private plane and all that, right? Dude, I'm constantly freaking soaking it up. Like, I truly believe that success leaves clues and that there's a system for everything. And if I can just, and most people, they go to events and conferences and they're like, all right, I didn't learn anything from this guy. So be it. I want one, if I, if I pick up one nugget that jacks me up and that I use, right? We're building a coaching program behind the scenes right now for me to help people grow, right? I had a call with somebody last night. They told me that their business they, they, they worked with me on coaching wise for three months, right? For those three months, their income grew. At the end of those three months, they told me that Cody, after those three months were over and we stopped working together, my income went down. Can you coach me again? You know? And so I'm a firm believer that bouncing ideas off of, having people to bounce ideas off of, having people to get ideas from is so super valuable. Most people never think like that never invest enough money or never do anything to never do enough to really take their game to the next level i get we get compliments you know for what we do but my potential is so much freaking higher than where i'm currently at it's not even close people if you're not in an uncomfortable situations i was in a, in a uncomfortable situation earlier right I spoke to, um, I won't give her name or specifics, but um, she helped put on the Agent 2021 event for, for Gary Vaynerchuk, right? And we had a call together. And I'm telling you, I was a little uncomfortable. Awesome. Yeah. Because I was doing something I needed to be doing, right? I was moving the mission further along. I was, so... I love it when we get in some questions. We start having some fun on Q&A. Duker's, you know, practicing his salsa in his head for next week. <laughs> I am. 
Andrew says, you can't see the picture inside the frame. Having mm. someone help you to stay accountable is super important. When we're left to our own devices, we contract. Yeah. There's, there's no doubt. It's, 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 it's bad. I mean, it's sad. It's, 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 the, it's the case, though. It really is. He's, a, he's, 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 he's so right, which is why I'm thinking about some of the stuff I'm thinking about for, for, for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we got. All right. Salsa again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we getting enough? Are we getting the comments rolling yet? They got to gotta pick up to get to 100, huh? Oh, yeah. I think I'm safer right now. Oh, he's calling you guys out, man. I love it. I love it. Every Wednesday, we do Q live Q&A. Dylan, we got to get a uh, graphic or a video up for, you may have a graphic. Do you have a graphic for the six-figure success yet? I know it's on the YouTube channel. Go to our YouTube channel. It's our main channel header. Six-figure success, where I'm going to focus on helping new and struggling agents learn the prospecting systems to make six figures consistently. Instead of sometimes I do well, sometimes I suck, right? So pr the reason people fail is they struggle. Agents don't know how to get in front of people. I'm going to solve that problem on April 11th. It's a two-hour live in here, April 11th. from next. It's two weeks from tomorrow on a Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. Central Time. You can go to CodyAskins.com under events. You can sign up for that event. It's $47. We're expecting about 100 people to be a part of that event. And we'll have another ebook for them. Yeah, 30 page ebook. I'm talking for $47. I'm going to give you so much value that when you leave, like last, last three hour, Dylan, the last three hour live we did, call to close, there was fire emojis, people getting jacked up, excited. It was popping off at the end of those three hours because they saw how much value we gave them. I cut the price in half and we're doing focuses on six figure success for new and struggling agents. It's all about prospecting. It's all about getting in front of people. It's some of the secrets that I've learned about how to close deals. Like if you pick up one thing, it was worth $4,700 and you paid $47. Yep. So make sure you go to CodyAskins.com to sign up for that. We got another, that's the, that's the, that's the six-figure success. We have another, I don't even know what we're going to call it yet, a private coaching network that I'm putting together to focus on helping people grow their agencies, their teams, and themselves, right? It's gonna come with a couple, couple uh, coaching sessions a quarter. If you have questions about this, reach out. A couple coaching sessions a quarter. It's gonna come with a quarterly virtual mastermind with a celebrity co-host. It's gonna come with a access to my cell phone all the time whenever you need me. It's gonna come with a private mastermind, 8% Nation, couple free premiere tickets. Like, it's gonna come with a lot of stuff mm -hmm. focused on access, growth, and being a part of a network. Like if you want access, if you want to grow, and I'm not talking like height wise, you know, unless you're 14, <laughs> uh, and I have access to a network of people that are some freaking power players in this industry and meet people that are going to actually help you, then you want to be a part of that too. So that, that's not even up yet, but I don't even know where, maybe like, I don't know what we're going to call it, but it's going to be sick. So, we have something else to jump in there? No, it's Andrew still. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Dylan, any, anything? You good? Yeah. Duker, thanks for watching. Wednesday's live Q&A. Every Wednesday at 2. We don't have anything tomorrow, but then Friday, we got 8% 8 club 12. at 2. We may end up moving the time of that show on Fridays at 2 because I moved my Spanish class to Fridays at 2. Not this week, but starting the next week. So. The guys didn't know that. Now everybody knows at the same time. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. I want you at the Six Figure Success April 11th. If you're in Dallas, we may be there April 18th doing a free live training in Dallas, April 18th. We'll let you know about that as soon as we uh, release it. So appreciate you being on. Have an awesome week. Thanks for the questions.